Hey everyone, I'm Renzi and you're watching my tutorial. Variables is usually written in X. It's a variable whose possible value are numerical outcomes of a random phenomenon. There are two types of random variables. They are discrete and continuous. The meaning of discrete random variable is that they are usefully but not necessarily counts. If a random variable can take only a finite number of distinct values, then it is it is must a discrete. One continuous random variable is one which takes an infinite number of possible values. Continuous random variables are usually measurements. Examples include height, weight, the amount of sugar in an orange, that is a problem. Suppose you are planning to go out and meet with your friends. As you open your closet, you have decided on what co combination of outfit suit you the best. The following are the, your options. Shirt, which will consist of blue, red, and white colors. Bottoms, jeans, or skirt. Shoes, which is sandals or high heels. The two questions. First question, what are the possible combinations of outfit available? And the second question, how many outcomes of combination of outfit are available for you? So let us solve it now. The first step on how to solve the, our problem is that step one, we should give each option a representation. So we will write a legend. So this is our legend. Shirt, B for blue, red, R for red, W for white, and for bottoms, J for jeans, S sub 1 is for skirt, shoes, S sub 2 is for sandals, and H is for high heels. Step 2. We will be constructing a tree diagram. So, this is how it goes. We should write shirt. in the shirt. So B for blue, red for R, and W for white. After the bottoms, we are now in the bottoms. So in the bottoms we have we have jeans and skirt. So we will follow the pattern. J for jeans and S sub one for skirt. Butter, jeans, skirt, jeans, skirt. And now we are in the shoes. Shoes are consist of sandals and high heels. So S sub 2 and H. S sub 2, sandals, high heels, and sandals, high heels, sandals. High heels, sandals, high heels, sandals, heels, and sandals, and heels. So all in all, we have three branches for a shirt. Bottoms and shoes. These are step three. Identify the possible combination of outcomes by tracing the branches of the constructed tree, tree diagram. So these are the possible outcomes. We have come to this part by tracing the tree diagram. So we have B for blue. J for jeans and S of blue for sandals. B, J, H, blue, skirt, 
sandals, blue skirt, high heels, red jeans, sandals, red jeans, high heels, red skirt, sandals, red skirt, high heels, white jeans, sandals, white jeans, high heels, white skirt, sandals, white skirt, high heels. Question number one. What are the possible combinations of outfit available? So this question is, the answer of this question is found in our step three. Step three, we have listed these possible outcomes by tracing the three diagram that we have constructed a while ago. So this is the answer of our question number one. Question number two, how many outcomes combination outfit available for you? So, how many? It is asking of how many the combinations of outfit are available. So, we can also find the answer of question number two in our step three. Well, we just only need to find this possible outcomes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, the answer of question number two is that there are twelve outcomes combination outfit that are available for you so, this is how we solve the random variables thank you for watching my math tutorial video